Hello everyone, what is up? And um, my name is Dr. Rocker 911 and today I've got a <coughs> attack helicopter footage for you guys and um, it's in Dawnbreaker and I'll be sitting in the gunner's seat as you can see. Now, um, this is a really good pilot and I actually messaged him afterwards, I told him uh, he's a really good flyer, pilot, um, <coughs> yeah. And um, we actually get a lot of uh, kills, and he was actually on my squad, as you can see. And um, so yeah, um, this kind of reminds me of the <coughs> sorry, I'm kind of sick. The chopper gunner in Modern Warfare 2. Now, in that one, you weren't like free to control it; you couldn't pilot it. And look at this guy; he's just evading missiles there. But then, um, in that one, it was like it was more like for you guys that have played it. And this is a cockpit view. You can't really shoot, but I liked it. It's cool. Um, you can't really shoot. Uh, you can't really move um, around the map in Modern Warfare 2 with the chopper gunner kill streak. But it it moved around, and it usually went to spawn points, I believe. <clears throat> and you could just like kill everyone, and mow people down. But this one, it's I like it. It's more. That's the thing with Battlefield, like. It's like an actual war as compared to um, modern, like Call of Duty, which seems more like a paintball match. Like it's really restricted, really, um, it's really easy in my opinion. But this one, like Battlefield, it has billions of possibilities, like each game. And yeah, so um, this is PS4 footage for you guys that have been, like haven't been watching my other videos. And yeah, this is straight from the PS4's uh, share option, the new option that you just press a button and it shares the footage. And um, yeah, I also like the scout helicopters. They're they're good. Um, except in this map, this map's really, you know, the buildings and everything. You just have to really be careful. Like it's really easy. And they, I don't know, they really they change like. Um, it's kind of annoying, but it makes it more realistic. Like, if you just touch the bot, like, any place, your helicopter, like, starts spinning and, like, flips over sometimes if, like, just one missile hits it. it like, if just a side touches, um, like, a side of a building or something, it, you just explode. And I know this is realistic, but, like, um, it should be a little less, uh, sensitive. Like... There are a lot of times that it's happened to me. I don't know, um, this probably has happened to you guys before, but yeah, it gets annoying. So yeah, here we are, um, all right, there, there we go. I'm trying to get the new, um, China Rising DLC. It looks cool, especially the desert map. It looks really cool. <coughs> and the new stuff, like the UAVs that you can throw and stuff, they're really cool. And yeah, um, so here we are. The thing I don't like with this chopper gunner is that it, you kind of get dragged along. It feels like that. Um, it doesn't actually feel like they try to shoot at me. It doesn't actually feel like... He, sometimes, like, you just lose the guy like I did there. And, um, here we are. They're just getting... Towards B... Oh, another thing, I'm sorry, it feels like I'm ranting a lot in this game, but, um, another thing that's really annoying me is the missiles, like, surface stair missiles, they are really annoying, like, you can, compared to, like, how long the flares, like, you can dodge them, but then, compared to, like, how long the flares take to reload, for example, on a plane, or, um, and even a helicopter, and then, Compare that to like how long it takes that thing to reload. You just literally, it takes like two seconds on the ground. And it, the string, the stingers are quite strong. And more than that, it just, it hits you, but then it kind of knocks you out for a second. Like, it knocks out your controls. And like, for example, if you're a helicopter and you're really close to the ground, you'll probably be dead by then. Like, you'll just crash into the ground. This happened a lot. But this guy's good, this guy, he's dodging everything, he's... He's doing great. 
and there we are. Um, I recently got the um, laser guided missiles for the chopper, like the gunner seat. I really want to try that. I didn't get have that in this um, video, but I, I think I get it in this um, game, actually. And yeah, the laser guided missile is really good um, against for, against um, against vehicles and even armed vehicles is really good against them. But I think. I can't really compare these two, but the best missile, I think, like, in my opinion, in the game, is, um, hands down the active radar. And, uh, yeah, that just, you just launch that, and it just, if you, you just gotta get it close to, like, launch it close towards, um, another, like, an aircraft or something. And you can get them for the stealth jets, I think. It's the last one, I think? I don't know. It's one of them, though. It's up there. Um, yeah, and you just launch that baby and it goes, it just shoots the guy out of the sky. And it reloads pretty fast on the mobile AA. I have that on um, It's really good. So here, we're just taking... The Zuni rockets on the attack helicopter, at first I thought it was just, um, they're 8 rockets as compared to 30 of the Hydra. But that eight, when you just, you just, if you get all eight of them onto a, onto like a, um, for example, a tank, the tank will just explode, you just, they're really good. Um, I haven't gotten any other unlocks yet for the actual chopper. I think I'm gonna get the, t oh, there we go, the laser guided. I think I'm gonna get the tow missile soon. I'm close to that. But anyways, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and, um, this part, it's, it was kind of cool, like, yeah, you, you could have seen the guy's laser right there, and there we go, it was explosive rounds, man, and there we go, there's one guy right there, oops, see, you just hit something, and you're down, alright, thank you guys for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe if you like, and this guy just invited me, no, come back, oh,